Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today we are going to be finding out is the iPad 3 still usable in 2019? So as you may know, the iPad 3 only ran up to iOS 9.3.5, which means the iPad is not still supported by Apple, which could cause issues with app support. The good thing about being on iOS 9.3.5 is that the iPad does have a permanent jailbreak. It has a jailbreak for almost every iOS version it ran. If you want to know how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5, you can click my video here. As far as app support goes, some apps are still fully up to date such as Instagram, but Netflix and YouTube are still usable although they are not fully up to date. As you can see, Netflix works just fine as well as YouTube, which is on my YouTube channel here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the speed of the iPad just by loading a few apps here. So I'm going to start off with settings in 3, 2, 1. And settings loaded. And then I'm going to do the camera. This is just to give you an idea of how fast the iPad 3 can load everything and just how fast is it in general. So now YouTube in 3, 2, 1. and it finally loaded. Now, one more app, Instagram. And it loaded, as you can see. So everything loads, but you do have to be a little bit patient with the iPad as it can be laggy sometimes, especially on iOS 9.3.5. But if you wanna speed it up, there's a way to downgrade to iOS 8.4.1 and I will leave my video on it here. You will have less app support, but the iPad will be slightly faster. Okay, so now let's talk about the iPad third generation's gaming capabilities. First of all, it cannot play Fortnite for those of you wondering, as it does require two gigabytes of RAM. The iPad 3 only has one gigabyte of RAM and iOS 11.2 or later. And like I said earlier, the iPad 3 only ran up to iOS 9.3.5 but it can still play some other games but just like regular apps some games will not be compatible because of those two reasons okay so now we are going to test two games just to see how they play so the first one is going to be Geometry Dash Lite the free version and the last time I played it it played pretty good so this is a good solid at least 30 FPS so it's not laggy it responds to the touch pretty immediately, so. I would definitely say Geometry Dash is definitely playable on this iPad, so probably many other simple games will be. So now the next game we are going to play is an old one called Monster Truck Destruction, but it is a little bit more graphically demanding than something like Geometry Dash. So we're just going to do freestyle here. This was an old one I used to play when I was a little kid. I haven't played this one in years, but it was a very fun game at the time, so see how it plays it. So it seems to be actually playing it in a pretty decent frame rate, as you can see here. It lags just a little bit at times, has those little lag spikes, but other than that, it plays the game pretty decent so far, as far as I can tell, so... Okay, so now we are going to be doing a Safari test. So first we're going to head over to apple.com. And we're going to go to the normal iPad Pro section because if you've watched my videos before, you would know that if a device is going to crash on Safari at apple.com, it's gonna be in the iPad Pro section. So it has not crashed and everything seems to be loading normally. It's a little bit laggy, but other than that, everything seems to be loading normally, so we should be able to click on stuff and it work just fine. So as you can see, that worked just fine. So the next website we're going to go to is Microsoft.com. So there it is right there. So Microsoft has halfway loaded. Okay, now it's loaded. So everything has loaded normally. So if I wanted to click on their Surface Laptop stuff. So I'm going to load that. And as you can see so far, it has loaded normally. So now let's go to, well, it's kind of fading out. Maybe there's an ad. Okay. So now let's go to one last website at Newegg.com. 
So I'm going to go to component and it didn't respond. Click it one more time. Okay, there we go. CPUs and processors. Okay, so as you can see, it has somewhat loaded. So, so far, Safari is pretty usable. It can be slow, but everything loads and nothing has crashed so far. So all the images, or most of them, have loaded. So they're just loading very slowly, but it does technically work and does not crash. So now let's talk about battery life. The battery on this iPad is actually pretty outstanding. It used to last me all week. Now it doesn't last quite as long because it's been used a lot and the battery is old. But it still lasts pretty good and I still don't have any issues with battery life and neither should you. The battery is pretty outstanding on this iPad. So, with that said, is the iPad 3 still usable in 2019? Absolutely, especially for basic tasks like Safari, YouTube, Netflix, and some video games. Now, some of the newer apps are not supported, but many apps are still supported, even if they're not supported on their latest version. I would definitely say the iPad 3 is still usable in 2019. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and if you feel like being extra awesome, go ahead and drop a like on this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.